it's been a good start to the season. We're four and three right now, going into this weekend's competition at Nebraska. So we play Nebraska, Colorado State, and Creighton all uh, in Nebraska. So it'll be a good, good opportunity against uh, Nebraska's a top 40 program, uh, Colorado State uh, not in the rankings, and then Creighton our first conference match. So good mix of uh, opponents in there. Um, coming off of a couple tough losses, we lost at Purdue and at Marshall, who are both ranked programs. Um, so there were matches that, that we played well and competed well, and just you know one of those things could, um, didn't get the W. So certainly um, something to build on and uh, something to, that's kind of fueled us in practices last week and heading into this weekend's matches. I think it's it's good opportunity to play for the team, and I, I just keep working hard and try to um, help the team. It doesn't matter what number I'm gonna play, but I just help the team because anyway we I like. We want to get four points out of seven, so I, I try my best every time. Like I said, we're four and three. Certainly, um, you know, nothing to hang our heads about. We, we're right there with those good teams. But even in those defeats, um, we've had individuals that have that have won. You know, we talked about Yak winning all of her singles matches, but we've we've been we've had individuals that that have won their singles matches. So even when we're losing, we've got players gaining more confidence and. Um, you know, it's just when you're playing that level of competition, you're gonna you're gonna get better, what win or lose. So heading into um, you know the rest of our non-conference play and then into conference play, we're we're getting better, we're getting stronger, which is you know that's that's the goal for every program every year. I think everybody was disappointed after those three losses down in Texas, and uh, after the game, we all just kind of came together and just you know we made a decision as a team that this isn't going to be us this year. You know. You know, in the first few games, we struggled to put runs on the board, and there was that little, you know, what's going to happen this year, and then also we throw out 10 runs, and, you know, I, our offense right at ORU was amazing that night, and we can't make mistakes. You know, minor adjustments, or, or, you know, minor mistakes can hurt us and cost us the whole game. So we have to play fundamentally sound defense, and we know that. And when we get guys in scoring position, we have to do everything we can to get them over and get them in. And, you know, small ball, basically. We know that. But, you know, nights like last night where we put 10 runs on the board, we know that those nights are possible, too. But when it comes down to it, it's just being able to find a way to win. And that's that's going to be have to be our game, regardless, you know, whether it's 10 to 8 or 1 to nothing. We're going to have to find that way to win the game. Anytime you come out of winter break and you live in a cold area, you tend to want to, you tend to start out a little slower at the beginning of the year rather than, a, you know, rather than at the start of the fall you've had all summer to prepare. And uh, I think that may have showed a little bit these past two weeks uh, with the team. But uh, overall, you kind of start to see uh, your game start to come back. And uh, your uh, your rhythm and timing is just uh, natural as it was in the fall. It all starts with a short game. Uh, that's probably the first thing to go uh, when you've had a break uh, during the winter. And you just try and you analyze your rounds and see what you're doing wrong. and then you. Uh, during practice, you really try and work on those to get those as sharp as they were back in the fall. Our team heading off this weekend to Cedar Falls for the men's and women's indoor Missouri Valley Conference championships. Uh, it's a great facility, a great place to compete. Our athletes have done well there, and the women are defending champions two times. Uh, the men won two years ago and barely missed winning last year. I know our ladies are really excited for this weekend. I've been watching people, I mean, I watched some of our jumpers yesterday, and they're jumping better than they've ever been. And, you know, we're just getting ready to go. Like you said, we have a target on our back. This is, we're going for three times in a row here indoor, and we just need to be ready and do what we know how to do. A little different from this meet than all the other meets we've been to so far because there's prelims and finals. Uh, indoor, we don't really have any other meets where there's prelims and finals, so I'm running both days, um, so twice as much as I usually do. That's a little more, and you kind of pay a little more attention to the details. We don't have anything to lose. I think, you know, when you're playing the number one team in the nation, and I haven't seen the top 25 poll actually in the last couple weeks, but I know going into the start of the season, ASU was ranked number one, and you've got nothing to lose. They're a great ball club and very well coached, and obviously it's their home home court, but, you know, it doesn't matter to us. It's, it's a great opportunity to play on the big stage, and to go out there and, and potentially have an upset. You know, a lot of times big teams like that might take you off guard and, um, you know, not play as well against you because they don't think that they're going to have to play their best to beat us. And I think moving, so she has moved some people around since the beginning of the year. And I do see um, 
a difference in the way our team chemistry plays on the field and how um, we all feel more confident whenever she does move somebody. So like if some, she moves someone from the infield to the outfield, um, I think that sometimes it does work out better. And so, you know, to me this weekend was a winning weekend for us. Um, just in general, in attitude and the adjustments that we made from the previous year, the previous weekend, but more than anything, and just making strides and how good it feels to win. You know, obviously everybody's going to be happy when you win, but we competed to win and we deserved to win those games. And you know, even in the game we lost, we were in that game.